and other social engagements to empower women. Better on cultural and religious inhibitions, we must all put our hands upon the plan to change in this country. That's right. It is a terrible task, though it is very tasking and demanding. As a council, we have hosted more than than four issues over the past 16 days concerning gender advocacy. It shows that we are not just reporting the same journalists are agenda centers. That's right. And we have tried as much as possible to join in the process of this agenda setting, especially the proactive gender initiatives. That is yeah. it. In terms of representation, at the legislative level, you have just about 4% of women in the National Assembly, which is completely unacceptable for a country that has had 20 years or 21 years of consistent democracy. I think that for a country like Nigeria, where the women themselves have shown great capacity and great knowledge, when I was in university about uh, uh, this was 19, up to 1984, hmm. more than 25 years ago. Indeed, more than 35 years ago, uh, we hardly had women in the classroom. Uh, I was reading law, I think the women constituted less than 20% of the population. This was the University of Nigeria in the campus. You go back to that university today, the men are perhaps 25%. And the women have shown great ability to learn, yeah. great skills, and all over the country women are yes. perhaps yes. the best educated in the gender And yet you do not see women in positions position. of decision. You do not see women in position of policy making. And you do not see women in position of policy implementation. No country, no country can make progress. We have more than half of its population are insignificant. That's right. In occupation of That's right. From, policy and people from creation, God saw that the man cannot do it without the woman. Mm -hmm. When He created Adam, Adam could not smile. Adam could do nothing. He was like a maroon. God was worried. And he sent Adam to into a deep sleep and removed the rib by his right side. That's right. To show you how special a woman is, man was made with a clay, but woman was made from the bone of a man. Word! By the time God created Eve and put her before uh, Adam, and when Adam woke up and saw her, for the first time, you jumped and smiled. Mm -hmm. We are spices of life. That's right. And the essence of God creating man and woman is to love. That's right. I beg all the men here, let's obey the will of God by loving our wives. Yes. By loving our daughters. By caring for them. If your mother didn't love you, she would not show you to adulthood. It is love that has brought you up. Give that love to your wife. Mm. Give that love to your daughters. Mm. And let's make the world a better place. I thank you all for trying to walk in our shoes. My dear sister, yes, I thank you. I appreciate you thank for this you, wonderful advocacy. Thank you, ma'am. And this shows clearly that we are making progress. Yes, we are. And we will get there one day. Yes. We will surely get there. I want to assure the NUG. I appreciate you all, and I want to assure you that under my watch in the Ministry of Women Affairs, you will be my partners, a very critical stakeholders. Because you are strategic partners that we must work together in order to intensify advocacy. That's right. Without you, we can't make progress. The media is a critical stakeholder in our effort to succeed in 
getting to zero tolerance mm -hmm. of gender-based violence in achieving the girl child education because education is key for the girl child. That is the best empowerment you can give any community, education. Because an educated mother, an educated daughter is will educate the whole community and That's the society. Right. That's right. I once again thank you for this commitment, for your contribution towards enlightening more people and condemning gender-based violence. Okay. We are close to All right. Okay. On behalf just on behalf of the NUJ, I've had so much. And from your speech this afternoon. I'm so good. And that confirms why you are receiving this award this afternoon. As a gender champion award 2020. All right. He presented here to Mr. Clement Wangko, Executive Director, Policy and Legal Advocacy Center. In recognition of your contribution to women empowerment, gender equality, and inclusion of women in politics. That's right. This is being presented and presented on behalf of the proactive gender initiative. Congratulations. All right.